Thanks for joining me. Mike Adams here, CWC Labs. I am probably the most censored scientist in the world, at least since the days of the big tobacco whistleblowers, because, of course, the science that I carry out is the science that they don't want you to see. And in today's podcast, I'm going to summarize two recent experiments that we ran on glyphosate. Did some very interesting work in the lab using a triple quad mass spec instrument. We tried a couple of things. We did, we tested a bunch of water filters for their ability to remove glyphosate. And we found some astonishing things. We tested three different classes of water filters, some sports bottle filters, the tabletop pitcher filters, and then the high-end gravity filters. And what we found, well, I'll, I'll summarize it for you here in a minute. Uh, but you can also see the videos on this at glyphosate.news. We're posting all the videos there. And they are truly fascinating. You'll, you don't want to miss them. The other thing we tested was the question of whether microwaving your food or water can eliminate glyphosate because there had been some, some discussion online, some people wondering, can you get rid of glyphosate by microwaving it? And I'll share that result with you first. We have a full video on that also at glyphosate.news and, of course, brighteon.com. And I'll share that result with you as well. Uh, a quick plug here. We do glyphosate testing for all of our products. Well, well in, increasingly, we're aiming to get all our products tested at healthrangerstore.com. We're expanding our testing every day, and we're putting the glyphosate-tested certification logo on the products that are glyphosate tested. And our goal is to have everything tested within, a, I don't know, a couple more months, perhaps. But we've already got hundreds of items that are glyphosate tested and much more coming. So you can shop with confidence at healthrangerstore.com, superfoods, nutritional supplements, green living products for your home, tested for heavy metals, glyphosate, and much more, microbiology, for example. So support us, and we'll continue to conduct science in the public interest. Now, getting to the test results here, the water test results were very interesting. So we took uh, two parts per million glyphosate in water. In other words, glyphosate diluted in water to achieve a concentration of two parts per million. And then we microwave different vials of that for different durations of time. Uh, zero seconds as a control, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, and four minutes. And then we plotted the remaining glyphosate concentrations. Now think to yourself here before I share the answer with you, does microwaving, this was a 700 watt consumer grade microwave, does microwaving glyphosate in water, does that destroy the glyphosate? Would the concentration go, go down the, the longer you microwaved it? Turns out the answer is exactly the opposite. The longer we microwaved it, the higher the glyphosate concentration became. It actually went up by over 150% for the four minute sample. You might be asking, well, how can that be? How does it make glyphosate? Well, it isn't. The microwave is boiling off the water. The water is, you know, vaporizing. It's boiling off into steam and it's leaving behind the glyphosate, which apparently is impervious to microwave energy. So the concentration of the remaining glyphosate goes up because the total volume of the water is going down. So that's what we were able to find. You can see it in the video. When you microwave food or water, the concentration of glyphosate actually goes up if you, if you lose water through vapor or boiling. That's actually very interesting to note. So the answer is microwaves do not destroy glyphosate, which was not a surprising result. Now to the water filters. These results were surprising. Let me give you the good news first, because I appreciate all your support uh, and I appreciate you listening. We found one water pitcher that removed 100% of glyphosate, and we found two of the uh, high-end gravity filters that also removed 100% of glyphosate. None of the sports bottles removed 100%. But just from memory here, I'm not looking at the data right now, from memory, the sports bottles, I think they performed anywhere from about 21% glyphosate reduction to maybe a high of 87%, it seems, something in that range. So the water bottles performed, you know, not so great, but actually better than I expected. The water pitchers performed better than the water bottles. And I don't remember the exact numbers. Again, you can watch my video for the numbers, but I do remember which one removed 100%. And that is 
the brand called Zero Water. So Zero Water, which advertises itself as removing everything from water, which honestly, to me, that sounded like a lot of hype until I ran the, the science. And I'm like, oh my God, it actually does remove everything, at least whatever we've tested so far. And we're going to expand this test to other pesticides as well in the future. But Zero Water, I'm quite certain in the previous test, we ran heavy metals through the Zero Water filter and it removed all the heavy metals as well. So finding that Zero Water removes all the glyphosate is just truly astonishing, actually impressive. I got to hand it to the Zero Water people, whoever they are, they formulated some kind of amazing water filter. Um, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know how they did it. I don't know the chemistry of it. I just know the results and I double check them to make sure, yeah, it removes 100% of glyphosate. And by the way, you know, look, none of these companies paid us to do this test. I, this isn't uh, an ad for Zero Water. Uh, they, they don't know who I am. Maybe they'll hear about this, but uh, they've not been in touch with me. They didn't give me anything. I went out and bought their filter. Just like all these, I bought them and I'm testing them just for, for you, you know, to, for you to know, to share this information publicly. So that's the good news. If you're going to buy a, a kind of a medium grade countertop water filter, like a pitcher, uh, don't buy Brita, don't buy Culligan, don't buy Pure, buy Zero Water because the Zero Water just, wow, it removes 100% of the glyphosate. Totally surprising. Now, moving on to the gravity filters, there were two gravity filters that removed 100%, but all the gravity filters, the big, the big ones, all of them did better than the water bottles and, and overall they did better than the water pitchers as well. So the two best gravity filters were, uh, not surprisingly, Big Berkey was one of them. And the second one, which was a surprise, is called the Aqua Pale. Now, Aqua Pale, well, first, a couple of disclaimers. Uh, Big Berkey, well, let me, let, me, let me back up some more. There are, there are gravity filters that we did not test because we did not have them. And I didn't go out and purchase uh, everything on the market. So. If water filter companies want to send me one of their filters, I'll be happy to test it and update the results. So I know there's a, a company, I forgot the name. Uh, oh, Alexa, Alexa Pure. If Alexa Pure gets this, if you want to send me one of your filters, I'll test it for you and I'll, I'll share the results publicly. I imagine it will do very good. It might be 100%. I don't know. But the Big Berkey is a water filter that we have been selling at the Health Ranger store for quite some time because... A couple of years ago, I ran a heavy metals test and I saw that the Big Berkey removed almost 100% of every heavy metal. So that's when we started to sell it. So you could say, in terms of full disclosure, possible conflict of interest, you could say, yeah, we sell the Big Berkey water filter. Uh, but I assure you, we only sell it because we did the test first for heavy metals and found that it was really great. Anyway, the Big Berkey with the attached arsenic slash fluoride filters also removed 100% of the glyphosate. And that's a reproducible test. You know, any other lab out there that wants to reproduce this can, can do so. There's no fudging of that at all. This is what it does. I'm totally upfront about the science here. And then Aquapail. Now, Aquapail was sent to us by the company that makes it. I think it's called Be Ready or, or Be Ready Inc. or something similar to that. I've never talked to the people, but they sent us a sample like over a year ago. And I've been sitting on that sample, was thinking about how to, how to do proper testing for it. And so I included it in the glyphosate test. And it turns out that that Aquapail, which you can just go to, I think, aquapail.com, I think that's where they have it, uh, removes 100% of glyphosate also, which, again, was really shocking to me. I did not expect it to do so, uh, especially if you look at that unit, it has a relatively small filter in it. A cylindrical filter, but the geometry of it is quite interesting. And clearly somebody knows what they're doing with that because they have a very, very effective filter. So you can't, you can't argue with the science. You know, the, the glyphosate was gone. So that filter act absolutely works. I'm really impressed with it. So those were two gravity filters that had a 100% removal rate. So that's a summary of two of the most recent results from CWC Labs and the glyphosate research that I do using a triple quad mass spec instrument, which, uh, by the way, cost, will cost you about half a million dollars. So <laughs> I joke with people, yeah, you can do this too if you, <laughs> if 
you want to spend half a million dollars and I don't know, three or four years learning how to do some organic chemistry and chromatography and mass spectrometry and just all that stuff. You can do this too. Actually, anybody can. Anybody can learn how to do this. It just takes years. So I've been running this lab since 2013. And so, I mean, we're coming up on, well, it's, it's been over five years actually at this point, you know, given that it's 2019 now. That's amazing. Can't even believe that. Wow, five years goes by quickly. In any case, we are doing some really amazing science. We are ISO accredited. I publish glyphosate.news as well as naturalnews.com. And these results are results that you can count on. And we have a lot more coming. You can continue to support our efforts by shopping at healthrangerstore.com. As long as we have funding, we will continue to perform this really important, interesting science and share it with you for free. That's what we do. So thank you for your support. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger. Take care. If you want to make it through these trying times, you're going to need full cognitive function. You're going to need your mental faculties. And there's no better way to achieve that than to turn to good nutrition, brain-supporting nutrition. That's what we offer at the Health Ranger store. We do more testing than any retailer in the world to make sure that you have the cleanest food in the world because I believe that that's how we change the world. We change the world through clean food. We help people live better, think better, and we get better results in the world. It all starts with food and nutrition. Check it out. We have over 700 products now at healthrangerstore.com. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.